but we were in a board meeting and we, you know, we used to have the opportunity. I don't know if you'd call it an opportunity. I'd call it, you know, the plight of having to pitch magazine ideas to him. Why? I don't know. He's the chairman of the company, but I think Shane took like sadistic glee in bringing us up there to, to pitch to him. And so there was an issue where I'm pitching, you know, for various kinds of ideas. And at one point he starts to pretend like he's falling asleep, you know, in front of the board <laughs> members, just I'm telling him, we're going to be doing an interview with Booker T. Not a big fan of that idea. Sorry, Booker T. And I think what really set him off, and it was not what I would ex have expected, was uh, we wanted to do a magazine on an, an article on the, the greatest steel cage matches. And I guess, you know, Vince doesn't typically like that. He sees that as Meltzer thinking, like like ranking matches, you know, like for him. And he said this to me even directly, like it's not the match that's so important. I mean, obviously he wants people that can have good matches. He doesn't want like he will call, chew you out if your match sucked. I mean, everybody knows the story. I think it was Rhino and Tajiri or somebody where he came out to the ring on television. I think it was a taping and was like, nope, forget it. Go to the back. You're done. Like in the middle of the match. So, I mean, wow. like he cares about match quality, but for him, the storyline is paramount. And so like, he doesn't like the way that Meltzer will take a match and like surgically remove it from the angle and just study it by itself. Like this match without the context for him, the context is everything. Like when he told me that he thought, and look, I understand him more now that he thought that, you know, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant WrestleMania three was a was the best match. It was better than Savage and Steamboat, and you know because of everybody always saying that Savage and Steamboat was the best match because that was the match Hogan and Andre was the match everybody wanted to see. It was this angle that got everybody excited. It was the colossal you know confrontation of legends. That's the way he looks at things. So he hates yeah. this idea of like studying matches like that and so we had we wanted to do the greatest steel cage matches ever and he goes well you guys really need to take your heads out of dave Meltzer's ass <laughs> and you know i'm terrified of course i don't know what i'm supposed to do 